Hey guys, Hybrid Fisher here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Um, my mod video was the last one I put up, but I've now decided I kind of wanted a, a bit of a let's build a city sort of series. Um, first thing, um, if you haven't seen the mod video, I'm going to quickly run through the mods I have, why I've got them, what I'm going to be doing with them, um, and just explain that, just in case anyone hasn't seen that video. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm not going to be using hard mode or unlimited money. <clears throat> Sorry, um, just because hard mode, I, I don't want a difficult playthrough on this. Um, unlimited money, I would just build a really, really, really badly running city. So, don't feel like that. Um, and unlock all, I kind of want to see how far I can actually get through this. Um, sort of like a legitimate, can I complete this city, can I unlock everything? Okay, so into the actual mods that I've downloaded, um, the automatic bulldoze one, I think, is an essential thing for this game. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> um, it immediately after a building is abandoned or burned down, demolishes it. Something that you would have to do yourself uh, otherwise. So that's something that's really, really good to have because I've noticed that doing it yourself just takes forever and if your city's not quite up to this level you'd want it to be, you end up with abandoned buildings everywhere, so this is a really good thing to have. Um, traffic lights, again, another essential thing. Um, automatically, most junctions get traffic lights um, if they have, like, if traffic has to cross over, or if it's a four way junction, then they will have traffic lights just set through the game. I like to be able to turn that off because sometimes the junctions, especially if you're using a roundabout, it doesn't need traffic lights. A roundabout is designed to flow without them, so there you go. Um, the enhanced Hearse AI. That smooths out the death wave a little bit. Um, it sort of, like I said in the video, it determines how long the person's been dead for and collects them based on that so that you don't end up with complaints about it. Um, and they do distancing and plan out routes so they collect them properly and efficiently. Um, the first person camera just means I can show you guys things I'm talking about and get my thumbnails a little bit easier. 25 spaces, I want to build a big city, I haven't really spent much time building a full map filling city, so I want to get most use out of the map that I possibly can. The line colours for the public transport, it just means I can tell which one's going where a lot easier rather than having to colour myself. One way straight arrows, this doesn't actually seem to work, but I'm going to leave it on anyway and hope that it does. Uh, extended public transport, that is very useful for telling me extra things about where they're going, how many people they're taking, who comes from where and stuff. It's just a little bit of a clearer way to look at it. Traffic report, where they're going, where they came from, city vitals. That's just all your graphs and things that you could open otherwise. Like if you were to click on water and it gave you the water graph, that just has it sitting there for me anyway. <laughs> it's something I actually forget to check, so it's probably useful that I have it there. Uh, sun shaft just makes it look better for you guys. There's not much other um, practical uses behind it. Tree bush. Haven't actually worked out the controls for that yet. Whoops. Uh, and the clock, I'm leaving that off. Um, I have that on normally if I'm playing on my own because I'll forget what time it is, but I time myself in recording so that should be fine. Right. Now, I don't have any modded maps. I only have the standard maps. Um, and generally, I like to use Blackwoods because it's got good connections, good water, and you're not missing anything, but I think I'm going to try and go for a bit more of a scenic kind of place. Um, I think Sandy Beach looks nice to me. Or what about Lagoon Shore? Um, Sandy Beach, we'll go with Sandy Beach. In this video I'm probably just gonna do the basics of this is the start of my city, here's what I plan on doing. Um, and I'll probably from you guys if anyone has any ideas on what you put in. Uh, mods that you think should be like buildings and stuff. If you can think of stuff like that, it'd be really great for me. Um, it gives me ideas because I'll probably run out at some point. Um, you can also give me I don't need tutorials. You can give me suggestions on layouts and things. Let's change the audio a little bit because I feel that's going to be kind of loud. There we go. Okay, so this map is one of my favorite maps. I do really like this map. I have used it quite a lot before. Um, I did have a city that entirely filled this area, but then. They updated it, a few things changed so I couldn't use it anymore. Pause that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'd like to build roundabouts off of here just because they're nice and cheap to put in. Um, first, I'm going to get the roads all there. Uh, I like to just put a roundabout in here. Um, it's a nice central 
sort of this is the beginning of my city. So we'll have that as our center, even though it's really not centered at all. Well, we'll have that there. Um, and I think I want to divide. Where does the water go? Um, ah, okay. I want to have residential on the further upstream side and then industrial on the downstream. So downstream is this way. Um, so I'm going to have industrial on that side because I, I don't want the pollution to be on the residential side, you know, obviously. And it means I can sort of make the sewage plants and the water pumps and things. They just look a little bit near if I have them on that side. So that's how we're going to do it. Also, for now, this is... I don't quite understand why you have water towers. Um, they're more... In fact, yeah, they're more expensive than a pumping station, and per week they cost the same to run. So, I've never really found a bonus in using... Oh, actually, yeah, no. I suppose not needing the pipe, so... Yeah, I was, I was going to use that pump station, but now that I've actually thought about it, the pipes needed... Yeah, okay, we'll go with the, we'll go with the pipe. Um, and we'll connect these roads up. Uh, you go this way, and you go this way, but you need to be turned around. There we go. And actually, we'll upgrade this as well. Because this will take a high volume of traffic until I get more highway connections, which actually, we don't have. Well, that might be, that might be a difficult one to do then. I'm definitely going to get into street. Now, let's check our... I don't have access to that yet. Okay then. <laughs> this is going well. It shows how much I know about this game. Um, for electricity, I will just be building turbines because they're nice and quick to do. I don't have to worry too much about placement, but obviously they're going to go on the industrial side because that makes things a little bit quieter and a little bit neater for the residents. You know, I just should probably build their houses. Now, I know for efficiency, grids work brilliantly for your road systems, but I'm not a fan of grids. I don't think they look nice. So what I'm going to do is have like a main drag that maybe goes across like this way. And then I'll split out for little suburban houses that go around here and have nice little woodland huts and stuff. Because um, I'll put forestry. No, I am doing this. Yeah, no, I'm doing that the way around. <laughs> I'm getting confused my left and right. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put forestry down here. Um, and then have like beach huts and stuff. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, so... First things first, because this is the main drag, we'll have a nice big road to do it. I won't bring it all the way for now um, to save money and stuff. And then we'll have little two lane roads that go into nice cul de sacs. I'm only going to bring it straight like that, and then I'm going to curve it. And I, most cul de sacs are really quite windy, intricate little roads, and they have little like spin offs like that, and then they'll have an extra bit that curves away like that. I think I away with my so yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. That's quite nice and neat. And we'll bring... Yeah, I like that, I like that. Um, oh, water. Water, water, water. Across there. Along there. Down. And along. It's not neat, but it will cover the majority of that. Power, I installed a little relay mod that I really quite like. Um, because it looks a lot nicer than standard power lines. You see, it's just... Sorry. Just that little box there. Such a cute little thing. You play, it's got nice little animations. And it just looks nicer than having power cables. You do see the little spot of land it's on, but once you start building, it doesn't become an issue. I didn't mean to unpause that. But yeah, I'm gonna build, just to keep the connection up, I'm gonna put residential just, nope. I don't want it too close to the main drag. I kinda, I want that big main road to be left clear. Cause if there's trucks and stuff going into it, it's just gonna create havoc. So, could at least speed it up and get people into the city. That's all powered. Oh, why would you build on that side? Why? Come on, one more, one more, down there. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it. Oh, is that actually going to reach? Okay, we'll do that anyway. Have a little relay in there. You can barely see it. If I put trees over it, you never know it was there. Um, oh, sewage. I forgot about sewage. Whoops. Um, 
Oh, it's not gonna look nice for... Okay, it's not gonna look particularly nice because I have to put the sewage down here. Um... That's, that's kind of annoying. Does that go straight? Yeah, that goes straight. I that stuff for that. Um, you should now have sewage. Hey. Hey? Hey. Oh, no you don't. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I remembered. Point. There you go. And that will power the lower half of my industry. I'm probably going to turn off that noise if I haven't already. I think I might have. Okay, so we now have a demand for commercial and industrial. Commercial... Hmm. Actually... Could I have like little high... St well, not high streets, that's the... Like... Shopping roads that come off either side of this. So like I would have my... Houses and then I could split it off and have like a little grid of shops. Well, I like that idea. I like, yeah! Have a little curvy cul-de-sacs and then... Yeah, we'll do that. Um, oh, they want industry and they want it bad. Um, right. Industry, I won't use those roads. Industry will be gridded. Be gridded. Because they will have big trucks. And I don't want big trucks to completely screw me over. Uh, way in needs to be lower than the way out. Yeah, leave before you... Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. But we'll get this basic infrastructure set up, and then I'm probably going to call this episode in a few... I don't want them to run on too long. Now, as much as it's going to be a series, I want to have it quite a split-up series. Um, just so that I can keep the variety on the channel. It's still pretty new, pretty open, so... I want it to be nice and various, and, and avoid those turbines. And then, and this should all be one way if I've remembered to do that. Oh, that, that's going to be Windmill Square. Hang on. Oh, I don't have enough money to build another one. But that will be Windmill Square, and that will be a little one for our industrial area. There we go. I'm already naming places. Have the policies to allow me to name places, but I'm naming them. Screw you. Oh, I also don't have any money. Whoops. Um, I think I should have thought about that. Might have been rather important. Oh, the relay. Okay, we're gonna go on a bit of a. This might go terribly wrong in about two minutes, but I'm gonna delete these relays and hope that they reach. Build, 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 build. Please, 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 one there, one there, one there. Because I don't have money anymore. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that worked brilliantly. And you should now be getting me money. Do I have an economy panel? I don't. But I'm not paying that much for you. Because this is why I like this vitals panel. I can adjust that and have this open at the same time and see what adjusting that did. And because we don't have a lot of people here yet, um, you are connected. Thank you very much. Yes. Sure. You're fine. There we go. Um, are you not as windy as you used to be? No, you're fine, you're fine. Shush. Hmm, I might need to put in a proper power plant. Okay, build a little bit more residential, and I think what we'll do is let that residential build while we go into first person and view what we have. Um, nope, turn off that. There we go. Look at that. That's quite a cute little thing already. I, I like that. My little industry over there with the windmill square. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure filming with you. Um, and I shall see you again in the next video. Don't forget, if you like this series, give the video a like and a thumbs up. That helps me know what you want to see on this channel and the extra things I should be putting up. And subscribe to see the rest. Ta-ra.